The walk leads westwards out of Dorking along the wide Pilgrim's Way. If you've looked at the Guildford to Dorking walk, then you might recognise this. It's overcast and quite close and sweaty for, a, for early October. Already some decent views are opening up. But as you can see, it's pretty hazy. A bit further along the Pilgrim's Way, there's starting to be some autumn tints and again some hazy views. This path is where the Guildford to Dorking walk posted on this site elsewhere descended. This walk is going to go straight on and beneath the North Downs Way. It's going down that path there. Now the path descends and ahead there are some great views of the Downs. Some decent early autumn tints in the tree there. There's the continuance of the path. We've descended to the level of the railway. You should be able to see there. And here's a decent view looking back the way we've come. Right at valley bottom. And now looking up there, you can see the downs and the north downs ways along the slopes up there. There's the path ahead, a bit churned up and muddy, still at the foot of the downs. Look at the state of this path. Some vehicles have been through here. Look at that great sweeping ploughed field. The path bears right here, still not in great condition. Wooded interlude, quite an interesting place, except the path ahead is absolutely dire. The walk has turned left across the railway now. It now goes through that farm and along a path by the edge of Deer Leap Wood, which you can see there. Around here, there are some views towards Fox Hill and the downs around Ramwell. Now going through the farm to the path that goes along the side of Deer Leap Wood. Now on the path beside Deer Leap Wood, there's the North Downs. And now looking back the way that we came. Further along the path beside Deer Leap Wood. Look at those colours along the line of the downs. Across a minor road, the walk enters Abinger Ruffs, and there's the path ahead. The walk passes the monument to the third son of William Wilberforce, the famous campaigner against slavery. It marks the spot where his son fell from a horse. I'll try and get a shot of the plaque. The walk goes uphill at this point and there are also some great views over to the downs. As you can see the weather has improved considerably. 
and it's also much fresher. Now going downhill again and just look at those views. Looks like the clouds coming down again shortly. The walk goes along the edge of this field which has fantastic views across to the North Downs. On almost the final footpath now into Gumshaw, this path goes along the edge of the field. The walk joins the A25 just outside Gumshaw. For the last few hundred yards walk along the road to the station. Fascinating doors on that building. And here we are at the end of the walk at Gumshaw Station.